Bob Keeler. I'm the current chair of the Historic Markers Committee. And uh, I'd like to welcome everyone here to Yahats today, the Oregon Coast, on a beautiful summer, early summer day. And so without further ado, uh, I'd like to, to briefly say a word about the Historic Markers. Uh, the program, as many of you probably know, started in the Oregon State Highway Department back in the 1940s, 1940s, 50s, and 60s. Uh, the old beaver board signs that we still see and still love around the state. Uh, the program was taken over by the Oregon Travel Information Council about 1991, and we began doing update, updated style signs. across the ocean, and they crashed into the side of the... Doesn't that image conjure up something? You went, just I was talking with a geologist one time who talked about these volcanic structures crashing into the coastline here. So if you think geologically, if you think about time the way the geologists do, it was a very quick event. And then if you carry that thinking on to the next step, we've been here for about that long. And in that time, we've done this, and we've done this to people who were here before, people who look like me got here, and we've done all of, and, and all of our activities have far-reaching implications in the very short period of time that we've been here. We have short lives, short attention spans, short thinking opportunities, but the impacts of what we do is huge. So it behooves us to take a look at history and see the impacts that we have created, that our ancestors have created, that, that is the heritage of those that came before us, and try to find the good stuff and hang on to that. Take a look at the stuff that wasn't so good and remember it so we don't repeat those same mistakes. If you think about it, in geologic time, as those islands come crashing into the coastline, it's not going to be very long before every place on the planet is historic. Right? <laughs> Every place on the planet is going to be historic. And the impacts of what we do to each other, to our planet, are going to be lasting. So it's a good opportunity when you take a, a look at a historic marker to start thinking a little bigger than your next meal or whether the umbrella is going to work or whatever. Just think bigger and remember those volcanic islands crashing into the coastline. And let's not crash into each other or our own coastline too much. Thanks. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. I'd like now to introduce Chief Warren Brainerd, Chief of the Confederated Tribes of the Coos, Lower Umpqua, and Siuslaw Indians. Thank Welcome. you. Thank you, uh, Mayor, and the uh, committee, and uh, council, and everybody that has caused this to happen. Uh, I really appreciate to be here to help dedicate this. It's uh, our, our tribe uh, has had a long history with this uh, area, and some of it not so good, but it's still, it's still our home, and we, we appreciate it. Uh, the uh, people, and, and I, one thing I like to do is be able to tell our story, because if, if people don't know the past, history tends to repeat itself. We have a similar thing that happened. Uh, we've seen it through history, and I, uh, I just am very grateful to be able to tell our story. We want to make sure that it never happens again, uh, as long as we're here to help educate the people and know that uh, it can happen if, for those that, you know, if you don't stand up and speak for what you believe, uh, there will be nobody to stand up for you later on to speak for you. Um, our people were all relocated here with great expectations of learning how to integrate the new ways of the white man. The 
they were promised a treaty and a land that uh, couldn't be taken away. And uh, they also were promised to have education, industry, to bring up the, the, the Indian people up to the standards of the white men so we would fit in. But because the people in charge didn't follow through, they all, all was lost. We were brought here, and everything that they had have hopes for, as, as time went by, was lost. Uh, the land was sold. The, uh, all the expectations that they had were, were, were gone. They were become uh, refugees in our own homeland. And we, uh, we, we really had a tough time here. But, that's, that's enough on the past. Uh, we're still here, and we love this coast. It is our homeland, and we, we want everybody to come and see a, a, a promised land that is like no others. It's, it's, it's our homeland, and to have people know and understand that, that it is a, a really a, a great uh, compliment to us that have been here and know this place. So I uh, thank you for the, the information that all people can come and see. And we uh, wish all visitors to come. Go on down the coast of Florida to our casino. <laughs> 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 and to read sport at Coos Bay at the headquarters. And stop by the reservation in uh, Tribal Hall. and. I'm sure that uh, we will find somebody to give you a tour around to show you we're pretty proud of the things we've done and we hope to do more. Welcome. Before we formally dedicate the marker, we have a tribal elder and flautist, Doc Slider. Join me here. Thank you both for your kind words, remarks, and we hope that this marker does good things for the community and for the tribe, as it will for all Oregonians. Thank you. It is officially dedicated. Thank 